For startups, the impact of the people that you hire have a way bigger impact on the company as a whole than for large enterprise organizations. One of the things that we really believe in as an organization is that you are who you hire. Some of the key challenges I see founders facing um, in a startup is maintaining culture during rapid growth and change, effective workforce planning, meaning getting the right skills in the role at the right time, and lack of employer brand, which is not too uncommon in a startup. My advice for founders on their hiring journey, firstly, get clear and on the needs and skill gaps within the business. So that means identifying the skills and experience that are currently lacking, and then prioritizing accordingly. Secondly, delegate and empower your leaders. Many founders wear many hats. However, as you grow, it's important to be able to delegate others within the business. By empowering your leaders, you not only give them responsibility, but also ownership in their role. Lastly, focus on culture alignment. So not only do you hire for the skills and experience, but also hire for those that align to your vision, mission, and message. Some key considerations when you're embarking on implementing a new tech solution is be clear on the why. Where does your organization want to be in 12 months or three years time and ensure the technology is going to be able to flex and accommodate as your business grows. Engaging the right stakeholders is absolutely critical. Allow people to feel their voice has been heard and that will assist you as you roll the technology out and seek user adoption. Ensure that analytics are really high on your list of requirements. It's going to be essential in ensuring that you can measure and pivot where needed moving forward. It's absolutely critical to consider who will design, implement and manage the technology on your behalf long term because it's not a responsibility that we see working effectively when it's done as part of someone's already busy day job. We like to kind of joke and say just because you can drive a Ferrari doesn't mean you can service it.